What is up guys, today we have a quick installation and upgrade of the laptop, like quite old laptop, 2014 laptop, Dell 3537. We have a RAM upgrade here. So I've got good RAM here assembled in Poland, DDR3 8 gigabytes. So you see here what's characteristic of it. Some DMDR 1600 MHz CL11. So I've got two of them. So in total 16 gigabytes of RAM. And that's what's actually supported by the chipset of Dell 3537 on Core i7. Currently I've got uh, I've got 8 gigabytes of RAM, so 4 plus 4, and I'm planning to install right now here for 8 plus 8. So in total we have 16 gigabytes of RAM. So let's do it currently. What you need to do is turn off your laptop, of course, and unscrew here. Screw is quite old, so we need to change to bigger one. As you see here, it's already hard to dismantle it. But with this one it's much easier. So you need to unscrew screw one and screw two. It's very simple, it's actually I take five minutes to replace it. So I need fully here and fully unscrew here. So right, done one, done two. Then you should put it out here. That's it. Very simple. Now you have the RAM. Here I've got my SSD. And let's open it up. Very simple. Like this. Here we have installed uh, Samsung. It's uh, really dirty for now. We have Samsung. Same characteristic. PS3L. Uh, we've got 4 gigabytes of RAM. DDR3. So one and unscrew the second one, very simple. So two of them here from Samsung will be replaced by good RAM. So let's open it up first. All right, it's actually not that easy to open, but yeah, actually easy. Uh, now we have uh, same characteristics actually here, just increase amount of uh, RAM. Uh, it's PS3 here, DDR uh, voltage is 1.35 volt, which is low voltage, this one the same. And as you see here, it's doubled memory, so we've got four chipset from one side, from from other here, we've got eight chipset from one and eight from others. So let's open up the second one second one opened even without damage in the box let's install it here seems fine fixed fixed and the second one so it actually supports only DDR3L DD, so not supporting even DDR3 with 1.5 voltage. Okay. All right, seems fixed. And before uh, putting back the cover, let's turn it on and see whether it's loaded and whether it's working. So open up, turn on. Here is the sound of loading. So we have two here. So I will show you here that it's loading. Actually it takes some time, but with SSD it's faster. So give me a second, I will load it and show you. So as you see here, now we've got uh, using 2.5 out of 15.9 gigabytes of RAM. So actually it's supporting here it's same 16 gigabytes. It's available 15.9 uh, is actually can be used. So yeah, everything works fine. Then after this one, we can disable the laptop. Seems nothing happening here. So let's disable it and assemble back. So let me move my camera here to the position. So actually take really fast, 
up to five minutes to do it but you will feel your upgrades especially if you have only four gigabytes of ram so you can do it of, you can do it eight or like i did 16 depends on your processor and your chipset so then you clip it here full you see like this so all the other except those two should be should fit perfectly then you can cover it you can close it again it also takes really fast so upgrade takes not much time actually one is done the second one fix here fix here then check is everything fine and basically that's it so it's really easy guidance how to replace your uh, how to replace your ram memory in around five minutes in case you want some additional settings or some additional questions you have you can leave it in the comments below i can test it if you want it and put the thumbs up and see you next time.